In this video, I'll show you how to connect an external hard drive to your Chromebook so you can transfer files and do whatever you want with this extra storage. So let's get started. So the first step is to take the USB cable that came with your external drive in the box and connect one end to the port of the drive itself. Like this. And the other end, the USB, you need to connect it to your computer. And now, depending on your Chromebook, some of them will indeed have a USB type A port. So it's very easy and convenient. You just have to connect it this way. But in some other case, Chromebooks don't have this USB port. And you'll need to have one of these adapters that converts USB type A to USB type C. If this is the case, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these. This is the Apple branded adapter. It works very well with Chromebooks, with PCs and Macs. All right, so once it's connected physically this way on your Chromebook, you're gonna go into the file here, files. And by the way, if you don't see the file logo here, just click on the left side and you should see files here or somewhere over here, one of these icons. Once you open files on the left side, you'll be able to see the name of your hard drive. This is mine. You can click on it and you can start using it right away. But I always suggest, especially if it's a new drive, to format it and erase everything that was previously on it to start fresh. And to do this, you just have to double tap, you know, do a double tap like this on your drive name and then select format device. Here you'll be able to give this drive a new name. In my case, let's call it backup and select the format. This is very important if you intend to use this drive on a PC and a Chromebook at the same time, you know, transferring files, let's say, I suggest you choose NTFS. If you want to use this drive with your Chromebook and a Mac computer as well, you need to select XFAT because NTFS won't be compatible with Mac computers. So I'll choose XFAT and then click on Erase and Format. This will delete everything that is on your external drive. So make sure you have a backup before pressing this blue button. It will take a few seconds and here you should have the confirmation that it's done. You can now simply click and use it the way you usually use an external drive. So to transfer files or do any kinds of backup. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.